Leo, welcome to your tarot reading for mid-April. We begin with the Three of Pentacles in the past position. This card is all about work and collaboration and craftsmanship. So it looks like you've been really diligent recently and focused and maybe even a bit perfectionist in your approach to whatever it is that you're working on right now. You might have been working closely with other people and endeavoring to learn from their expertise and contributing your own skills as well to achieve some common goals. It's all about teamwork and collaboration, this card. It's also about working on something, gaining skills in something that you're really good at and that you really like doing. This card is about earning a living, doing something that you actually really like to do, which is, which is great energy. So it looks like this card is saying that you've laid a solid groundwork in your professional or even your personal life. You've been really focused on developing some skills in an area that represents something that you actually really like to do. And perhaps collaboration has been really important in this process recently. In the present position, we have the Four of Pentacles. This indicates a state of stability and security, but when it comes up, it also warns against becoming too rigid or closed off. It's saying you might be holding on to your resources quite tightly, and that could be a result of a fear of, of loss or just a desire to maintain control of your resources. And while it's essential to be cautious with your finances and possessions, it's always good to be cautious. But this card is saying there might be opportunities for growth and expansion here if you're willing to let go of your need for absolute security and embrace a more open-minded approach. This person is so focused on their pentacles, on their resources, on holding on to what they have, that they become a bit closed off to other opportunities, to other human connection even. They're so focused on their career, making their money, that it makes them a little bit narrow-minded and sometimes even a little bit greedy or ungenerous. So if you're finding yourself feeling that way, that you're, you become a little bit too focused on your coins, it might be time to loosen up that grip a little bit for the sake of your well-being, for the sake of connecting with other people, but also because when you do that, it's going to allow you to see some other opportunities for, for growth in terms of your abundance that you wouldn't see if you were so rigid and, and focused so intently on just what's right in front of you. In the position of challenges that you might face, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and that is three Pentacles card cards in your reading. So it looks like you're very much focused right now on the material, on your career, on your finances. So the Ten showing up in the challenges section, it's suggesting that while you might desire financial security and stability, and it looks like you very much do right now, achieving that could present some obstacles. This card is all about wealth and abundance and f the fulfillment of material desires. So you might encounter some difficulties related to family dynamics, inheritance, or long-term investments. It could also indicate the risk of becoming overly focused on material wealth at the expense of other aspects of your life. And we're definitely getting that same energy from the four of pentacles. And this overly focused energy on this materiality, it could affect things like your relationships or even just your personal fulfillment. So, so be wary of that energy right now. The challenge here is finding a balance between financial success and emotional well-being. So I think that's very much going to be a focus for you. And I'm definitely noticing this card really is the card of family wealth, generational wealth, inheritance. And I am definitely noticing today when I'm looking at this card, these little creatures, I think they're maybe mice or rats. One of them is kind of trying to dig his way into this box of pentacles here. There may be some issues or obstacles this month regarding 
family and the division of wealth. There might be someone trying to get more than they deserve. You might feel like you have to be more generous than you want to be with a family member or something like that. Something that's got you feeling a little bit upset or uptight in terms of family resources. So that might be an issue for some of you. In the position of the opportunities that await you is the Ace of Wands. This suggests the beginning of a new creative or entrepreneurial venture. And it's showing up in this position. It's suggesting that exciting opportunities for growth and inspiration and innovation are around you right now. They're on the horizon or they're they're present with you right now. So you may feel a surge of passion and enthusiasm for a new project or idea that's really going to fuel you to take action and pursue your goals with a lot of confidence right now. This card is encouraging you to harness your creative energy and really embrace a spirit of adventure and, and make sure you explore any new possibilities that come your way because you're going to be really feeling quite enthusiastic about some kind of new project or idea and keep your eyes open for that because it's going to represent an opportunity for a lot of like new excitement and adventure in your life that's going to bring on a lot of self-discovery for you. So it looks like there is something floating around you, an opportunity right now that's going to be quite exciting. And, and this might be some kind of entrepreneurial project, something like that, whatever it is. And I'm getting this relationship between the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles that this is something that you're going to really want to work on. You're going to want to develop skills in this area because it's something you're naturally good at, something that you actually enjoy doing. So keep your eyes opened, open for those opportunities this month because there is absolutely something here that's really going to spark your creative energy. We have the Ten of Cups in the position of advice for you. This is a card of emotional fulfillment, harmony, and contentment in relationships. So in the advice position, it's encouraging you to focus on cultivating meaningful connections with loved ones and finding joy in the simple pleasures of life. It's reminding you that true happiness comes from nurturing your emotional well-being and fostering a sense of belonging within your community. So take time right now to appreciate the love and support of those closest to you, to you and allow yourself to experience genuine moments of joy and fulfillment. And that's quite an opposite energy from the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles in the challenge position here. And I think that's why it's coming in as the advice. It's reminding you that human connection, that relationships, family or otherwise, are what really matters in the long run. Finances come and go, and it's easy to get quite focused on that. Um, to the detriment of other aspects of our life. But I think the Ten of Cups is saying, don't forget about human connection. Don't forget about the real value of family. Even if you're maybe fighting over money with a family member or something like that, keep in the front of your mind the fact that you really love these people, that their love and support for you is really important. And the fact that you do that for them is the most important thing as well. So take some time to disconnect yourself from this focus on the coins, the pentacles, and focus on other people, on your relationships, on fostering the sense of harmony and contentment in your relationships. So it looks like that you've been really focused on building this solid foundation and a sense of security in your life, but you may be facing some challenges related to achieving long-term financial stability and balancing material wealth with emotional fulfillment. There are some pretty exciting opportunities around you right now for growth and creativity. And by remaining open-minded right now and embracing change, nurturing your relationships, you can navigate these challenges and really work towards finding this true level of happiness and fulfillment that you can't really get from these pentacles. You can find that as long as you shift your focus a little bit 
to, to nurturing relationships in your life. Still, you can still be focused on your coins. You can still be continuing to build this foundation of stability and security for yourself, but don't forget to include a little bit of focus on relationships, on human connection and partnership as well, because that's going to be really important. So that is your reading for this mid-April. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated for you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.